So today's a very special video. I wanted to go in depth with the brand new Microtech, almost a Spyderco, Microtech Amphibium. This is the one with the aluminum fluted handle. As you can see, what I really like about, first and foremost, what I really like about the Amphibium, it's got this awesome uh, titanium milled pocket clip. And also a really, really cool kind of almost floating backspacer. I think it does, looks absolutely awesome. That's really why I picked it up is because I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. It's going to come in your average box, kind of like this cool Microtech box. Sorry, there's a little bit of dust in there. But there's, yeah, cool Microtech box, Microtech box, and it's going to kind of cool with a cool flag and stuff and authenticity and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, this knife is absolutely stunning. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. And obviously, right when I saw it, I saw it on Knife Center, and I was like, well, if, I, if I'm ever going to get one, I've been kind of chasing one after a while, ever since I've been getting the Microtech Ramlock stitches. I actually have two of them, fortunate enough to get two. This is the one from the first run. As you can see, it doesn't have the reverse pocket clip. still has that old, almost the same reminiscent pocket clip of the Stitch Auto. And I also got the cool fragged out one with this cool, really, really cool tan G10. I was able to actually get both of those stitches directly from Microtech when they were dropping these. But yeah, these knives are so awesome, guys. What I like about them is that they finally have these ram locks. Uh, knives like the Stitch, which were just auto or illegal in a lot of places, and knives like this Amphibian were just like custom knives, right? Knives that are just well over a grand, but now you can get them for like about 300 And that's how much this one cost. It was the same exact price with the really awesome fluted aluminum handles. Look how thick it is. It's just done so well. I can't tell you how great these knives really are for the price. And I think because they're just so unique and so uh, functional, honestly, and easy to manipulate with these. Look at look how smooth this is with the bearings that they're on. Really cool finishes. I was actually after this apocalyptic finish. Because look at it. There's even a satin accent on the flats right there. And the edge came like lightsaber sharp. So I'm just super pumped about that. Kind of, kind of cool sticker to kind of represent Microtech a little bit. But yeah, this knife is beautiful. I honestly, I can't get this out of my pocket. This has been one of my favorite carries lately. And I just love the way it looks, feels. It honestly feels like a John Wick knife. <laughs> um, I just, it's just so aggro and it's just so intense. But honestly, if I'm going to really carry a recurve, it's going to be a knife like this. And I think, um, that a, a company with that apocalyptic finish looks awesome. But also, I think it's going to be pretty much functional. You guys know how recurves are. It's going to gather the material, and it's going to start all this extra blade is going to have to go through that material, kind of accentuating the cut. I'm not going to do intense cutting with this or anything. Honestly, I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I'm kind of an enthusiast. I am a user, though, so I will probably lightly use it. I just love having cool EDC knives, and I think this one has absolutely been the one I've been holding and carrying the most. It's really knocked out even knives like my hinderer knives out of my pocket. Uh, just because I just not only do my pockets don't have enough room for like 10 knives. Otherwise, I would carry 10 knives. But this knife has just been kind of dominating it. And it's actually kind of heavy. I think it feels like about, about 6 ounces. Yeah, I think it's about 6 ounces. But yeah, it's also got like a 4-inch blade. So it's pretty insane. I kind of want to measure it up with the, uh, the well-known... Demco 8020. This is one of the Slims in M4 with the Slicer Shark Blade. I think they're actually pretty similar. I think they look absolutely good together. So this would be an awesome EDC. Uh, kind of an EDC duo got going here. Um, both American made knives. This one's going to be about, I think, 450 And this one's going to be 300 flat. So, obviously, there is a price difference there. And obviously the locks are different and there's a whole lot of difference uh, between the makers and kind of the materials they use. But it's just so cool to have a knife that feels so hefty and so um, so overbuilt. And that's why I kind of like what Microtech's doing now is they've always kind of been overbuilt knives. But these knives just feel so good. It's kind of like the classic ZT knives that they've been doing. They used to do right in the earlier 2000s and all that. It feels like Microtech is kind of taking that place. And I think it's they've really uh, been in high demand, and I'm so I'm so happy I finally got one of these. But yeah, this amphibian is just bonkers, guys. I I am in love with this blade, and ever since I, I held it for the first time, like yeah, this is probably gonna be in my top three. Honestly, I think it is in my top three knives. It's just it is that good, and I also this is a knife I would see myself collecting multiple versions of the amphibian just in general. Um, 
I just can't get enough of the Microtex lately, guys. I, I mean, I already got three. I'm hoping to get more. If I was going to get another stitch, it would either be the aluminum one or it will be one of the shadow ones. Those are crazy. Or uh, I would collect maybe one or two more of the amphibians later down the road. Maybe a shadow one would be cool, but I'm really digging the aluminum handles. I don't really want to go anything else with the aluminum unless it's full carbon fiber. Marf uh, Tony Morfion's been doing some crazy runs of them. Well, they used to on the, the website, but now they just go straight to dealers. But nevertheless, this knife is amazing, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know that it's absolutely worth worth looking into, especially if you're a guy who kind of likes overbuilt knives, like hinderers. You like USA-made knives. that are. But this is also not going to break the bank too much to the point where other knives are, where you kind of want that full tie experience. This is also going to kind of blow your Flightanium Spyderco's out of the water. Uh, no hate there, because obviously I have these, and I, I absolutely adore the knives like this. But it's going to kind of blow them out of the water because it just takes it to that extra next level with the fit and finish, which is honestly, I believe, flawless for the price point. And just that overbuilt feeling it all us knife guys chase. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview and review of this. I think that it's absolutely going to be a great user and EDC option for a lot of you knife enthusiasts. And if you're going to use the knife, I think it'll probably probably be more than enough honestly this thing's overkill not only the way it looks but i think the way it it feels and the way it will be used also i think it'll be do really well and i'm pretty sure microtech does a great job with their heat treating on m390 i mean they've been doing it for so long i don't really have any worry there m390 is going to be a pretty fairly good steel anyway and with the thicker geometry i think it'll kind of help somewhat it from being um you know ridiculously chippy or rolly uh but yeah, that's not a scientific uh, theory at by any means. That's just kind of a knife guy theory. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, please leave a comment below. And let me know how you like it. Things you didn't like, whatever. I don't care. I just like to hear all the feedback. And also like and subscribe. I got plenty of awesome new knives I'm going to be showcasing, which are kind of my shorter videos, which just show the knives off. And I'm going to be doing reviews like this. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless.